Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and thanks to my girlfriend breaking her screen, today I'm gonna show you how to replace the screen on an iPhone 5. Okay, first you'll need a broken screen. Yep, that'll do. Then you're gonna need a tiny pentalobe screwdriver as well as a tiny Phillips head screwdriver. You'll also need your pry tool, a suction cup, and of course, the new screen. Now there are different versions of this screen kit. Um, you can have it just bare bones, which is what I have here. It just has these connectors at the top and that's about it. Um, and the screen, obviously. Other than that though, you can get one that also has the home button and the earpiece and all of that fun stuff built in, which will save you a whole lot of time. If you can find it, get that version. It's probably maybe 30 or $40 more expensive than the bare bones version, which is the one I'm using in this video. Um, but it will save you a lot of headache. Now I'm gonna use the bare bones just so that we can show you everything that needs to be done just in case you end up with one of these kits. Okay, first we're gonna remove the two tiny pentalobe screws, one on either side of the USB connector, and make sure to set both of those aside. Then we're gonna use our suction cup and the little pry tool to kind of get underneath it. If that doesn't work, which it didn't for me because the screen is cracked and the suction cup can't get any uh, suction, uh, on the cracked screen, you're going to have to use something metal. Now, when you do this, just be careful um, that you're, when you separate this, you don't scratch the bottom part of your phone because metal on metal, of course, will scratch. Obviously, scratching the top part, which is the screen, you won't care about because you're going to be replacing it anyway. But if you choose to use this route, just be careful, you're probably gonna scratch a little bit. Once you get it open a little bit with the metal, if you had to, then use the plastic one to avoid further scratching and separate the device. Then you can pull the top back, but don't try to pull it all the way off. There are connectors here um, that will stop that from happening. So then you're going to remove this little metal plate by undoing these three screws here. And you can remove the metal plate, which will show you the actual connectors underneath. You're gonna just kind of use your finger and kind of pry them off one at a time until they all three of them come off. Okay, if you see this headpiece and also you have a home button, you can pretty much skip a big chunk of this video and just kind of skip to where I start to reassemble stuff because that's pretty much it, you're done. If you don't though and you your kit looks like mine and it's bare bones, then you're gonna have to follow the rest of this video um, to replace the earpiece and the home button as well. Next, remove this thing by taking off these two screws and just make sure that you keep those screws um, as close to those holes as possible so you remember where they go and set that aside. Then we're gonna take off the home button. To do that, we're gonna undo these two screws and this third screw here at the top. Then we're gonna move this back plating by going around the sides. There's two screws on one side and two on the other. And we're gonna finish removing the plate by taking off this screw at the top. Now, what I do is I try to keep all of the screws kind of where I took them out from along um, the table, just so that you know exactly where to put them back because some of them are different sizes and you do not want to confuse them. Next, we'll actually remove this back plate. It just kind of slides off. And we're going to get the home button out by moving over the metal bracket and pushing the home button from the other side. Then we're going to remove this, and it may seem scary, but you actually just kind of peel it slowly back. Just be very careful not to rip it, and it comes off just like that. Same thing is gonna happen to the top, and that one's a little easier, but just kind of peel it until it comes off. Then we're gonna take the home button and put it in the new screen, and put on this metal thing up over it. I'm essentially reversing the steps we just did, and we're gonna screw it in. And we're gonna replace this third screw. Again, going backwards, we're putting this guy in. Uh, there is a tiny little piece that needs to be put uh, into a hole where uh, it's on the connector and the connector's kind of bent backwards. It seems a little weird, but if you didn't notice it the first time when you took it off, now you'll notice. And that needs to go in there before you push the rest of this in. Make sure that the camera sits in the hole and you slide this down. Then we're gonna put the back metal back on and screw that back in by putting in all four screws. And the fifth one here at the top. Then this guy goes back. 
and we screw him down. And we're going to attach the new screen back to the motherboard by connecting these connectors and just kind of making sure that they are connected. Be very cautious of that because if they're not, the phone will not turn on. And then put the metal case back on and screw that back in as well. Finally, we're going to just kind of slide it back together and slowly from the top down, push it all until it snaps back into place. Then we're going to put our pentalobe screws back and there you go. Your screen is replaced.